This is it. This is the moment of truth. Let's see. Wow. Okay. I am stressing the f out because I was just about to do a video on how to load and unload film on this A1. When I uh, did the windy part of it and I went to open it, the film strip was actually severed in half and the film was still stuck on this side of the camera, which means I don't know how to get it out. I don't know how to get it into this canister that it's supposed to be in to send a way to get developed. I went to Reddit. I basically found a thread that said that I can unload the film in complete darkness so it won't get destroyed by light. And to put it in a black canister so the light doesn't get to it, but I don't have a black one. I just have this kind of gray, almost see-through one. One of the users said that I can use tin foil to cover the film so no light gets inside. I really hope this works because the last time that I used this film camera was on our wedding day in October. And it's got pictures of my wife in her wedding dress on here that I really wanted to get printed. So I'm gonna try unload this film in the dark and then I'll, I'll write a letter when I send it to the camera shop to get developed. Fingers crossed they can do something with it. I'm going through all the steps in my head of how to actually get all the film out neatly in the dark because I don't want to be like fumbling around and messing it up even more. And I know it gets, it can get pretty dark in here. I'm going to start turning off some lights. Hopefully I can bump the ISO on this camera and uh, be able to share with you guys what's going on because maybe in the future someone might find this <laughs> useful in some way. That's as dark as I can get it in here, so. All right, I can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to roll the film as neatly as I possibly can. Oh man, if they can save this, I'll, I'll pay whatever they want. So here we have it. It's the film roll inside the clear plastic container covered in foil so no light can get at it and destroy it any more than it already has. Because I did open the back of the camera and I saw that the film strip was severed and obviously some light got in there. So I don't know how much of the film it's gonna destroy. That's just something that we have to wait and see what happens. So now we just gotta go online and basically get it shipped off to them. So yeah, let's do that. What a rush, dudes. So the website I use is the darkroom.com. I've used them before and they were super fast. I got like my film back in about, I don't know, like a week and a half or something. I gotta print out this shipping label. I'm gonna get this to the post office and um, keep you guys updated and we'll see what happens. All right. Hey, so good news, I got a text from darkroom.com and they've processed the film roll that I sent them, which is great news because I thought maybe that it was completely a lost cause and they would have texted me saying there's nothing they can do. But uh, they, yeah, sent me a text saying the film roll is ready. I just gotta go home and log in to my account and I'll be able to view the pictures. So I'm at work right now and I got some errands to run and then I'm gonna get home and together we're gonna view these pictures and see if they were salvageable. So yeah, I'm excited.
got home and I'm doing my laundry and I realized for the second time this week, I've washed my headphones. Not once, two times this week, I've washed my headphones. They've worked after the first wash. I'm not so sure this time, but we'll have to wait and see if these work also. Back to the vlog. This is it. This is the moment of truth. All right, I'm here in the website. Go to my account. View albums. Let's see. Wow. Okay. These actually look really, really cool. I like these. I like these a lot. So out of the whole camera roll of 31 pictures, four of them, I think, are actually usable. And those are the four pictures that I distinctively remember taking. The irony is not lost that I went to make a video about how to load and unload film from an old film camera, and this is the rabbit hole that it's led me down. So that's kind of funny. These look great. I'm really, really happy with these. For those of you who don't know, we got married last October and it was just the two of us, no guests. None of that because pandemic stuff. And we basically went to the beach afterwards and I took the photographs and did videos and stuff like that. But I wanted some vintagey photos taken on the film camera. And th these were the only four pictures that I, I took of Taryn on the beach. And they're the only four pictures on this whole camera roll that are actually saved in some form. This is not what I was expecting, but honestly, I didn't know what to expect. It's incredible that these four pictures are the only ones that came out looking like they do. They're perfectly imperfect. I'm so grateful that I have them. Like I distinctively remember taking this picture. It was just the two of us. It was starting to get really cold and windy on the beach and Taryn wrapped herself in a, this blanket. And I just thought that that was, it was just one of those moments where I, I really wanted to capture it. And it, it did. These pictures look kind of, they look like a memory, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. If you guys are still here, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. They say in Japan, broken objects are often repaired with gold. The flaw is seen as a unique piece of the object's history, which adds to its beauty. That's kind of how I feel about these pictures. Even though there's only four pictures that was saved from a whole film roll, I'm just unbelievably grateful to have these four pictures. Yeah. All is not lost. Also, my headphones, they work.